YouTube. Uh, I'd just like to give you a piece of story of my life uh, relating relating to um, relating to how Christ's transformed my life. Uh, I'll illustrate with this garden that we've got right now. Uh, yesterday it was just a weed infested mess, right? That now is all ripe ground, just as the world is ripe to receive the gospel of grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and we're saved by him, by faith in his grace and all this here ground is fit for planting seed absolutely fit for planting seed of the gospel of the message that saves unto salvation and to everlasting life you know today I just had the uh, the little water spreader on there and all of a sudden hallelujah it rains and it's just what we needed on the garden today although we've not put any plants in the garden we're going to and they'll grow up and they'll flourish like the gospel will flourish if the uh, gospel is spread abroad uh, my old man life my old man life it was just weed infested it was choked with weeds uh, I was a drunk um, I smoked marijuana and I you know got up to all sorts of bad things which weren't glorifying God at all I was dating witches and that's no lie I've dated two witches which I didn't, one I didn't know was a witch at the time. Uh, so yeah, I've, and one I did know was a witch when I finally met her. I've, I've, I understood she was a witch. She had a big pentagram under her carpet. But the lust of the eyes, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, uh, at that time I was a uh, at that time, that time I was a biker. I had a, um, I had a, a Phaser thousand cc motorbike. Uh, I can't find it on my old uh, YouTube channel because it was deleted. So I don't know where the footage is for that video. But anyway, I was setting out to see her, and um, got out of the plans for me anyway because I was so proud in my life, proud of my bike, proud of you know the things in my life and I didn't really want to speak to anyone else unless they were unless they were bikers really. Uh, oh look at little Robin. <laughs> there, were, there were a few there was a few anyway there's a few little robins in the garden yesterday and a few little birdies pecking up what was what was here for them. Anyway, yeah, I was a, I was just a proud biker, and that was me. And um, punk rocker when I was uh, in 1976. Not proud of it. It's just somewhere I've been in my life travels. I'm 55 years old now. Uh, I want to look back at it all. I think, yeah, I don't want any of that anymore. I just, just, just distraction. All of it was the uh, devil's distraction. I don't want money. I used to think, yeah, money would be a good thing. But it's not a good thing. I have loads of money. I mean, it keeps us be supplied here. I uh, have even multiple sclerosis, but he keeps my arms stable. He keeps my body stable. I have diagnosed with it. It was one time I shook like a leaf and no man could even hold my uh, jerking muscles as they were 
my tongue was going out of my mouth, it was just nuts. Uh, I, think that, I think that was just shortly after, yeah, that was after I had my bike crash. Um, but he got it under control, he made sure I had a head-on bike crash, this is a head-on by the way. Uh, police cars, fire engines, whatever. Uh, and everybody at the scene said I should have been a dead man, which I should have been. I should have been a dead man. And, um... A little pigeon down there. I should have been a dead man, but the Lord Jesus saw to it that I wasn't, because I knew. He knows I've always believed in him, right? He knows I've always believed in him. Even though I was so far from him, I'd grown so, so, so far from him. The belief's never gone, so... I feel like my life was like the story of the prodigal son. Um, I, I didn't know I have any, I, have, I had no direction, because I thought I could trust all. Trust in myself, do things myself, do everything myself. Now I've, I rely on other people to help me. And I thank the Lord that he sends me the help I need when I need it. Uh, and I did need it for digging this garden yesterday. And somebody else helped me, well, somebody else dug all this for me. And it's good to, you know, give him a little bump, a bit more than what he asked. And... It's good to share the gospel with people like him uh, or anyone else you may come across and like we've had trouble lately sharing the gospel because of COVID-19 we've had a little trouble sharing the, sharing the gospel because of COVID-19 uh, what we've been doing is uh, going out to the shop which has been really good for the moment. And I've gone in the shop because I've had to queue. My mum's sitting just there. She's just there, aren't you, mum? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to do my own. And? I'm going to do my own you know, video. Mum will do her own video when she feels like it. And, um, oh, well. Yeah, but um, we put parked the car up against the... Uh, we parked the car up against the um, barriers, you know, where you queue up to go in the shops. And we just blasted out gospel music to the people who were there. And Mum just loved it. Mum did it. And your mum, while I was in the shops. Oh, I did enjoy it. <laughs> I was just blasting out Celtic worship. Uh, a band called Celtic Worship, which I'll put in the link. Um, in one, for instance. But it was like the lock, you know, the lockdown, and that also the lockdown. Oh, glorifying the Saviour's holy name. Yeah, but it, it puts a lot of people in fear. The lockdowns put people in fear. They don't know where to turn. They don't know where to, uh, what to do. They, they are living in fear. And fear is not what you should be living in, because, like, soon, the Lord's going to rapture his church. And that's all the believers. All the believers that believe on the Lord should be saved. Now, lots of people have got different uh, opinions on the pre-tribulation rapture, but that's what we believe. And if you want, can you I can... just add some I don't, yeah. Hang on, I'm just making this video. You're going to do your own. Mm -hmm. um, so your mum's going to do her own video after. What, what did you want to ask anyway, mum? I was just going to tell, say, people are wondering how they're going to go get up to the... To meet Jesus Christ in the in the uh, air, yeah. the skies. The angels will come and take us. Let me tell, just tell them that I had a dream. The, the angels. I would put this down. on my cam. I would put this camera on my mum, but she's lying down and she's not. She's not really in the filmable position at the moment. Sorry. If you want to sit up, mum, that'd be good. Mum, um, if you want to sit up and tell your story, that'd be good. Be great. And you can, you, my mum wants to tell you about, anyway, Jesus oh, saves, put all your faith, a bit, a bit put all, all your faith and trust in the Lord.
Oh, Mrs. One, as she, we, we live together, and we share the same house. My mum's ninety-two, and on her shirt it says, "Religion sets the rules." What else does it say? Mm -hmm. What else does it say? Your T-shirt, but Jesus sets us free. So it's not about religiosity. Uh, we had a little question today pop down about you want my mum's explain one I don't know what she wants to explain to you. She wants to explain to you um I don't know what I'm going to say do you? a vision she's had about the angels. Yeah, I do know. Go ahead. I just want to pass me the Well no I can't pass you the camera because you can't do it. Well I, I just want to say <laughs> But um, because I was married to my husband, oh yeah, and it was a loveless marriage. Oh yes, yeah, so the I'm, only okay, thing I, got I thank our, him for, and our heavenly Father that I was given two children, that gave me my sanity back, because he, my husband, spent more time with his own kin than he did with. His wife and his two little children. Well, Mum, we've got everything to thank the Lord for. And, and Not this so one thing. We've got I, everything I to thank the Lord for. A wonderful thing happened. We got, have, I was, have, I was have we not got everything to thank the Can Lord I for? Just spend, are you asking me to ask? Uh, have we got not everything to thank the Lord oh, for? everything. Exactly. Everything. Oh, I was going to say to you today that because Jesus that. Christ knew this, you I, was in, I was just night. about to say my morning prayers. And the next thing, Jesus Christ was holding my, I didn't see him, I just felt his ha hand uh, 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 holding my arm and he was leading me down the aisle of a church and making me a bride. So I'm, so in Amen. that case, he is my first love. Yes. And my last yeah. love. Yes, <laughs> and that's what he must be to everybody. So everybody I, I, I want there. to say now that Amen. people are, some people are wondering, and I had. Uh, say me. It, it said that, it says that in the Bible that old men have dreams and the young ones have visions. I've had both. Yeah. But the last, the, 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 this is the one. I wanted to make clear to a very special friend, you'll know who he is. Yeah. It was a, it was a born again Christian. Yeah, go on, Mum. That, that, you, that I, was, um, I was out in the field and I was drawn up to the skies and um, I was, I, and then I found myself up in the, right up in the cloud, what I thought was the clouds. But the, the clouds were absolutely full of angels. Yeah. And, um, and it mentions you'll come I, back with that, thousands of his when, angels, tens and tens of thousands. That's when we all, from every corner of the, the earth, were all taken at the same time, taken up by angels. Because I saw clearly angels every, in, in, in the sky. And I saw especially a beautiful big wing, it, it will absolutely knock me for six. It was sort of <laughs> higher than the door, you know, a normal door. There was yeah. one, I can only see this one wing and it was absolutely beautiful. And that's how we're taken up. Um, it, what the, they, Lucifer went down to earth. I was cast and, down and, to and earth. Ca I cast out of earth. Cast down with, from heaven with to earth. Third Lucifer. of God's angels. Yeah. And those are the angels that are ruling this world today. Yeah, that's right. And all these kings and queens. But in the end. But in the end, they God know when they're going to end up. Yeah, and God wins in the end. So Amen. I just wanted to tell you that's how we're taken up, and it says we're taken up like the twinkling of an eye. That's right. At the last trump. The last trump. Amen. And that is angels that carry us up to the heaven to, to meet Jesus Christ in the skies. Because on this occasion, the, uh, he does yeah. not put his feet on the ground. No, that's the second coming of Christ. That's, uh, it, with, with the trumpet, is there? Sound the trumpet. Amen. 
and and a shout of the angel, and God blows the trumpet. Amen. And and then we would, we don't know when it'll happen. It could happen at any time. And the sooner the better for me. I can't wait to get to the kingdom. Of I heaven. just decided to we just decided to do this. I just decided to do this video today because. I was, uh, and I, I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't true. No, she I wouldn't. I couldn't. She, uh, I'd mom, be going against the Lord mom, Jesus Christ. Mum wouldn't like you. I won't like you either. Uh, she's telling you the truth of what she sees and what she's had and what she's dreamt. Um, me, I was going to go on about my life for a while, but the video's already gone too long so far. Maybe I'll do another one on how um, deviant it's been. Uh, and when mom's... I go, when I go, I just go and ask. Before this, the stupid virus thing came along. Oh, I'm I just go out and I ask them, "Do you believe in Jesus Christ?" Mum, you know, sometimes they say yeah, they do. Sometimes they're not sure. This is another. Hey, fence. are we sharing this video or? What? No, I was just wanting to say about a gentleman. Mum, are we sharing this video or what? Yes, <laughs> well, when do I get a chance to? Come on. I just wanted to say I went to a gentleman, <laughs> and not uh, where we were, not far from where we're living in Wales. Go on, Mum, you go for it. I I asked him, did did he believe in Jesus Christ? Oh, he said, thank you, thank you, thank you. You brought me my faith back. Oh, there, the guy on um. Uh, oh, pass. He was the, he's the boss of the Ponderosa in, in He's the manager. He's the owner he's of the Ponderosa Cafe, Langothan. Langothan. And uh, he couldn't he couldn't thank me, he was holding both my hands. Yeah. And then well, I told him then later, went back to tell him that's what we're supposed to do. Holy lands we're supposed after. to build up, build people up in the face so he'd let his he'd let his faith slip. We went we went to the Holy Land for for nine days and it was absolutely awesome. But awesome. Wait till wait till we see absolutely. the heavenly when we see the heavenly Jerusalem that will be the place. Because one day we know where we're going and you all out there have got to know where you're going. And you're not saved by your works, you're not saved uh, by your good deeds, you're not saved by anything but by grace through his faith through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen to save you. From hell, if you go to hell, you can't get out, you can't die. It's eternal separation from God. You know, you don't just die, you go to hell. And I don't care what anyone says on that. That's what the Bible says about hell. If they want to, there's plenty of hell deniers out there. But perfect justice is, is the Lord's and perfect justice demands the perfect perfect payment it demands the per permanent payment for unbelief and it and it he gives you uh, the perfect payment for your belief in him to save you from hell and death and the grave or ever and he promises you everlasting life and God cannot lie God cannot lie it's impossible for God to lie and so we exhort you all today and beg you all to choose Jesus Christ as your Lord keep, and Saviour because there's no to other. Our Heavenly Father, there is to no ask other. Jesus Christ so that Jesus Christ can come and take us up to the Heavenly Kingdom because we know that, that, that uh, Heaven is not on this earth. No, it's not here. So we, don't, we have to go, only Jesus Christ can take us there. That's right. Amen, Mum. Till jury, we don't have to go through any of the tribulation. No. The tribulation comes after the church has gone. And you don't want to be there. Earth. You don't want to be there by not believing. Otherwise, you will go through the tribulation. And you, and it's going to be absolutely uh, dreadful. That would be hell on earth. Just you won't be want to be here it. to see the after. No. The the, the um. Well, you wouldn't. You the, wouldn't want to be here to uh, see the, any the of it. You wouldn't even be here for the three first three and a half years no. of trip. Never mind the, the, the rest of the seven years that's of when the, tribulation. That's when the Jesus Christ speaks to the Jews, 
then they will have to, yeah. well, they will have to accept, accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour. Lord and Savior, he's not uh, only and if there's the any Jews Lord listening, unsaved Jews. He is the judge. If there's any unsaved Jews listening, um, he's the judge just as well. check out Isaiah 53, right, and figure out who the suffering servant is. Then he puts them somewhere safe so no one can harm them. Yeah, amen. Yeah, he takes them out of the way, he takes them, I think, to Petra and Jordan. 100% on that, but um, I think he takes them over, over to, he makes them a safe place, he tells them to get out the house as quickly as possible, because they're all going to be killed by the New World Order, which is forming now, and if you can't see that New World Order forming now, I don't know when you ever will. But it is forming right now, this very this very moment, and they're planning, planning and plotting to bring this New World Order in, as, as everyone should be able to see, they're doing it, they're oh, flipping the job of it. That don't believe. Yeah. They say, they say, oh, they've been taken by aliens when they see us. Yeah, they'll like. probably pull that one. Of our various things have been taken by aliens, and we we all know that aliens are fault. Uh, aliens aren't it? aliens at all. There's no inhabited other planets. There's just fallen angels, and they bend, and twist space and time, and they hide in those dimensions, and they keep up ahead of the technology of the day. Whatever era whether that we're in, not right, Mum and they, right. and they flip in and out of reality, and they pretend to, oh, so don't fall for any of this new new age stuff, uh, Nasara, Jasara, any of that stuff. Just keep because, praying to yeah. the God to send Jesus Christ. Because they're all deceiving demons. That, and they're all deceiving demons, take and they've got their back. ways of getting around the world. But, but take us back home because this isn't our home. Just pray, pray, this pray. Is Satan's Stay home. in the Word home. always. Stay and in the ours. Word always. Listen to godly things. Here, we've got a TV set, right? But we don't watch. It's not a TV. It's just a TV, and that runs it there. That's our computer. So I'm gonna move that mouse and turn it on. If I can actually turn on, this all you'll see on there pastors. is windows, and we can bring we can bring up um, we can bring up uh, good pastors like J.D. Farag, uh, Emi Safati. We like uh, there's a lot of good pastors out there so good. preaching grace and um, encouraging encouraging the brethren. Amen. Which is what we're supposed to do. Amen. Amen. So, from me and Susanna, North Wales, good night, God, good, good, God bless you God all, bless you or all. good morning and God bless you all, good afternoon and God bless you all, <laughs> we're just, we're, we're in the we're world. afternoon here, we're, yeah, in, we're in afternoon North here. Wales, and good, God, and God bless, we're in a lovely little place here, God bless from me, and a quiet little road, as yeah. I've, in, in all those years I've lived, and that's another. I've never even, Felt an earth That's another story we could go on another time about. Yeah, it's right, right though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but, but also the places where he's where we've you know, he found your house to live even yeah. in the worst of circumstances. And still continue and with his, we've got with this his humble little we place. Know it. Humble little place, yeah, he's still in the business of miracles. So he'll fix he did, yes. your problems, just call out to him, right? Call on his name. Call on and his you only name. lost one eye when you should have lost oh, two. This is dozens of story. Okay, anyway, this video has already gone 23 minutes and 35 seconds, so it's a bit long for most human attention spans. And uh, I hope uh, that everybody got through to the end and watched it. And uh, because, uh, yeah, we've, we'll come back more with some more specific stories and Because if I said anything wrong, it should come back on me. Amen. No, Same here. That. Amen. God bless from us in uh, North Wales anyway. See you later. Give me a smile, Mum. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, by the way, there's... We'll just make a little... Yeah, I'm just going to read... I'm just going to make an adjustment to that video. I won't lose the video. Mum, it's on this camera and it's running. Lots of people... I've experienced uh, dreams of the rapture and visions of the rapture going up in different ways. So God speaks to everyone the same, but he speaks 
he portrays it in different ways to people, you know. So yeah, we're just also going to state for and on the record that we are not perfect Christians. We never will be until uh, Jesus takes us out of these uh, wretched bodies that we wear now on this wretched sin filled world every day we sin at something we're always sinning at something and until he perfects us and give us and because he's working on us all the time he's never not working on us because we're his favorite creation and Lucifer didn't like it one bit but nevertheless we are his favorite creation human beings he chose his favorite people the Jews so they've rejected him but they will like I said earlier without he will come back for them and you'll see the remnant of the Jews it would be nice if he saved the whole cloth but um, I don't it's like everywhere else uh, You've got believers and unbelievers, and some people believe and not believe God if he's standing straight in front of them. And I don't want to film that person's car. Anyway, God bless you all. From two imperfect Christians in North Wales. Amen.